Hey guys, welcome back to Fleet Friday. This week we are down in the Rockaways in Queens and we're going to be taking a look at engine 329 second piece. It's a ATRV, which is a all-terrain response vehicle, also known as the sand vehicle. It's a 2015 Ford F550 with a KME body. It is four-wheel drive and it's cross-staffed by engine 329's primary rig by one firefighter, usually the control firefighter. This rig has no pump. It is basically a large manifold. The reason for this rig is in Breezy Point in their first due area, they have many beach walks with areas an engine company cannot reach or drive down. So basically engine 329's primary rig will be at the fire hydrant supplying this rig. This rig will drop its three and a half hose to engine 329's primary rig. This rig will lay in all the way to the front of the fire building be supplied by the primary rig as this rig has no water it's just a large manifold. Taking a look inside the cab it has seating for five this unit is mainly cross staffed by engine 329 by the control firefighter but it is, can be uh, fully staffed by overtime personnel for hurricanes snowstorms and stuff in that nature it has a MDT backup camera and radios lights and sirens. This truck has four wheel drive capabilities along with a central tire inflation system allowing the operator to inflate, deflate the tires on the move without leaving the cab. They can drop the tires 90 PSI, 60 PSI and 30 PSI. Taking a look inside the rear, they carry a set of irons and a couple of miscellaneous tools. It has three SCBA packs. For the nozzle control and backup firefighters for when this rig is in, in service as a rapid response vehicle 329 in this first compartment here we have shovels brooms bolt cutters rakes uh, blue things are like ramps in case they get stuck in the sand the beach They can hook up a line and open it up here and they can also open up for the uh, deck gun up top. We have the uh, chauffeur's SCBA pack. Uh, they also sometimes keep Indian pumps in here which is like a water extinguisher but uh manly pumped got a uh, two and a half bundle of hose the uh, compressor for the inflate and deflate of the tires adapter In here we got all different kinds of fittings, adapters, nozzles, got a winch down here which can be hooked up to the front or the back of the vehicle in case they have to tow somebody out the sand or themselves. Passenger rear side compartment, we have CFRD equipment, EMS, trauma bag, ocean rescue, 600 feet of rope. And then you have your quick release water rescue belt. Got some PFDs, torpedo, uh, cold water rescue suit, fins, boots, uh, bullhorn for the winter time when 
the water gets cold, I gotta have a water rescue suit. Got the officer's SCBA pack and a water extinguisher. Here's this other side of this compartment with the bolt cutters, the shovels and the ramps. In the rear of the truck on this side is your backup uh, SCBA pack. Another 600 feet of ocean rescue rope. PFD and a torpedo. Also equipped it with a whistle. And there's your set of irons. You got your binoculars. Engine 329 takes the ATRV to all calls in Breezy Point and Floyd Bennett Field and water rescues up to about Beach 115th Street. They also may take it in their third two boxes for brush fires in Marine Park in Brooklyn, which is just over past Floyd Bennett Field. This rig is equipped with a Stokes with flotation and a backboard and they usually carry the surfboard on this truck also. So taking a look at the rear of the truck here at the hose bed there's 300 feet of three and a half hose which is the supply hose which will be dropped at engine 329's rig at the hydrant and this rig will go lay in all the way to the fire building Engine 329's primary rig will be supplying this manifold. On the left side, we have two and a half holes, four lengths, and then six lengths of inch and three quarter, and the same on this side. There is also a 24 foot ground ladder up here, and then there's a better look at the Stokes. So basically once this rig is supplied, it's got an inch and three quarter line of six lengths they can pull off. And if they need more, they connect it to the two and a half. This rig would be in front of the fire building. And they can use that. And they can also be supplied to the deck gun that's on top of the rig. Now this rig also doesn't have to go into pump. So they can leave enough three and a half off the back and continue to drive with this rig if they had to. On the top by the deck gun we got some hose ramps in case they have to drive over some hose and a lifesaver. Usually the most that will be uh, operating off this rig would be the deck gun and two hand lines at most. So 
So as I said, this rig is four-wheel drive, and along with central tire inflation system, allowing the operator to inflate and deflate the tires. At this time, the tires are deflating, as it's going to go on to Rockaway Beach. So it's going to drop all the way down to 30 PSI. Which they would start this once they leave the firehouse, as it's only right down the street. So by the time they get here, they'd be driving right onto the beach. They turn this uh, red valve here stays open, so it can go down and up. As you can see, the rear tire is going down already. Here's a look at the ATRV driving on the beach. Uh, it responds first to for water rescues at Reese Park here, Jacob Reese Park, Fort Tilden, we're in Rockaway Beach. They usually just take the rig for any water rescue calls they have. This rig may be special called to uh, all the way down the Rockaways, basically the whole Rockaways, all the way down to the big house, as no other no other firehouses have a uh, beach rescue vehicle. Uh, EMS has some gators, as well as Engine 329 also has a mini gator that's kept in quarters in case when the uh, beach is very packed, they use that instead. But the main reason for this rig is for the manifold purposes for Breezy Point as they can't drive an apparatus down one of those sand streets and it would be long stretches of hose to get to the fire buildings.
So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Fleet Friday of the ATRV sand vehicle. Engine 329 is a water rescue company, so they have two to three water rescue swimmers, not divers, they're just uh, rescue swimmers. So they usually go out on the uh, surfboard that's on the engine company. They usually have one on the ATRV, but they're waiting on a replacement one. Uh, this is going to conclude this week's Fleet Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. Until next week, see you soon. Stay safe.